and the world around us is getting smarter. What does it mean for innovations in health? Dr. Thompson checked out the Consumer Electronics Show and she's joining us to talk about some of the coolest finds. The Consumer Electronics Show was held in Las Vegas and uh, we saw some incredible new technology from a 219 inch television set to new updates uh, to Alexa and Google Assistant. But CES revealed some amazing innovations in the health world too. So Dr. Sharon Thompson has a look into some of those great health headlights, highlights, excuse me. Uh, she went to CES and I hope you were wearing your track shoes. I did actually. <laughs> there was no cuteness, it was okay. just comfort for all that walking. It is intense, right? Intense, yeah. So, of course, you're interested in wellness and health. So, the things that stood out to you were some of the innovations for medical care and a lot of uh, at home products. So, let's yeah. talk uh, first about the new HERA and the Clear Up, which addresses yeah. hearing and also sinus. So, it was interesting for the show. One big theme was smart devices. Okay. So because computing has gotten so advanced, it's easy to put little chips into everything. So there were a lot of products that made it easy to gather data and give you information. Okay. One of them is the earbuds that everyone wears, mm -hmm. right? We're so used to wearing those. Well, one smart company has said, how about we put a hearing test? We make ah. these earbuds, you can put them in your ears and they will adjust to your hearing. Because we all have that family member who should get hearing yes. aids and should go to the mm -hmm. doctor, but won't. Mm -hmm. And this might be a good stopgap. Oh. If it doesn't work, if their hearing doesn't improve with these, then you say, hey, you know, that should have made you hear better. Why don't we take you to the doctor now? Oh. So not only can they hear better, mm -hmm. but if they can't, it gives you leverage to get them in. Okay, so there's your evidence, right? <laughs> exactly, it's hard to refute exactly. that. Exactly. Um, clear up is something you would use at home for a sinus yeah, infection? It's available now. This pro particular product is available on their website and on Amazon. Okay. And it's sort it's a little electrical device that, that gives you a little stimulation. You can't feel it mm -hmm. as a shock, but it stimulates the nerves of the face to oh. decrease um, sinus pain. So for people who are chronic allergy sufferers mm -hmm. and have a lot of yes. pain in the face from those nerves, this can be a quick, easy device and not too expensive to try to treat that. Can't hurt you and it may help. Well, that pressure, if, if you're familiar exactly. with what it really feels like, it's so intense, makes your eyes water. So anything to relieve that would be exactly. worth a try. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we all want to keep the germs from spreading. So there's phone <laughs> soap out there. Yeah, there were so many devices that could um, sterilize very quickly and easily using a uh, frequency of light. Oh, okay. So several companies have these boxes. This particular company has one, or one company even had a wallet. Oh, but yes. you put your cell phone and push the, num the button, uh -huh. and in 59 seconds, your phone is sterilized down to 98% of the germs are gone. Wow, and that's called 59S. 59S. Okay. So, you know, we've talked before about how you wash your hands, uh -huh. but then you go pick up that cell phone <laughs> or the remote control that has all the germs on it. So these are some neat devices that can help bring the, that germ quantity down. Boy, if you travel and you're going into hotel rooms exactly. all over the country all the time, what a good investment. That's exactly where I thought uh -huh. about it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay, so uh, we're all wanting to sleep better and we want to mm -hmm. wake up easy. So what's really involved in a smart bed? Boy, I tell you, these smart bed folks, <laughs> I wanted to stay. I did not want to leave really? after the three-minute demo. Oh, they were wonderful. So smart beds, again, we can put a chip into almost anything to give you information. So they can gather information about your posture, how much you mm -hmm. toss and turn at night. They, they combine with sort of the memory foam mattresses mm -hmm. and, and air cells that automatically change the amount of firmness or softness in the mattress according to you and your sort of posture, you and your preferences. Wow. Oh. They can even be set so that at your wake up time, the bed sits you up. <laughs> <laughs> nice and gentle, I hope, not throwing Just you out. <laughs> gently get up and get out of get bed. Get up already. <laughs> you know what? That's a lot better than rolling over, hitting scissors, accidentally turning that alarm off and exactly. being late. Yeah, the bed will keep you sitting up. That's interesting. Time I love that. Up. Okay, so um, electronic, I, and of course I can barely read my scribbles, electronic caregivers yes. reminding so you what place. to do when? Yeah. So there were uh, several devices that actually can can help you keep an eye on family members. Oh. So we know the baby boom generation is yes. aging. Many of them want to 
live independently. Mm -hmm. And so this is a way for your family member to stay independent, but for you to sort of keep an eye on them without being too intrusive. Okay. There were varying sort of levels of this. One was simply a device that looked like a nightlight mm -hmm. that you can plug in, but it also has motion sensors, and it can gather information to get a trend. So oh. if mom usually gets up and gets out by 10 a.m., and today nothing's happened till 1, the, the device might send you an alert saying, hey, it's oh. been awful quiet over at mom's house. Really? Now the device can't see her, mm -hmm. but it can give, gather that information about her movement. Up to, there were other devices that have a user interface where mom or dad can sit down at the device okay. and say good morning, and the device greets them and says, hey, time to take your medication. Wow. There was even one that could dispense the medicines. You can come over on the weekend, load up the meds, mm -hmm. and in the morning, mom or dad sits down and gets their medications dispensed. That's really incredible. Yeah. So there were some really good devices in that regard. Some of them um, are adding on the capability to link to physicians, okay. to link to blood pressure cuffs, mm -hmm. uh, blood sugar monitors, mm -hmm. and send that information on to a provider. Interesting yeah. stuff. Pretty we'll probably awesome. be of the norm for most households in, in yeah. the near future. Dr. We Thompson, often wonder thank what the future will bring, something like this. Very yeah. interesting. A lot of support out there. I appreciate it. We'll take a quick break. We'll be uh, back with more Good Morning Arizona coming up.